Are you one of those people that uh, swear off Walmart, or do you think there's some value in the biggest store in the world? Hey there, NJRoot22.com. It's negative five outside, freezing in my movie studio here. But today we're doing our uh, top five deals of the week, but it's sort of a variation again. I like mixing this up. Um, today it's going to be about Walmart. Um, it's very interesting. Now, we've sort of been on the fence with Walmart and uh, over the years, hating, hating them and loving them. And, you know, we've never seen that website, People of Walmart. I mean, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, Walmart's the biggest company in the world, pretty much, uh, at least as far as we're concerned. Um, so they get a, they're a good subject matter for uh, all sorts of uh, publications. We're constantly reinventing ourselves, so I think we're, we're giving Walmart a chance again, basically. And something we realized over the last you know year or so is that things at Walmart um, at their everyday price are most often cheaper than like supermarkets when they're on sale. So let's let's just go down a list of things here that that uh, are cheaper, and then we can call this a day because I don't like doing this too long anymore. All the uh, kitchen stuff, like uh, like plastic bags, uh, Ziploc bags, um, aluminum foil, wax paper, all cheaper than, than pretty much any supermarket out there. And they have a, a pretty much great uh, selection. Like, you know, for instance, Aldi has some stuff in line or cheaper than Walmart, but their selection is whew, small. So, you know, why you don't have to wait for the sale at, at ShopRite to get... Uh, uh, Aluminum foil, always cheap. So stock up when you can. And here's another thing that I, I've been talking about uh, the Nathan's hot dogs. I love the Nathan's hot dogs taste so good. I've been trying to find the sales at places like King's and ShopRite. Um, I didn't even bother looking, thinking about Walmart, you know. They have these Nathan's hot dogs cheaper than anywhere, always, every day. So I'm not even gonna bother looking at the sales at ShopRite. Uh, although they do have a good deal this week on their coupon. It's like two, do two packs of those little mini hot dogs for four bucks. That's a no-brainer. Buy like eight or ten packages. They're so good. Anyway, what, what is this ring baloney? I've never heard of it. Never seen it in my life. And it's this big, like, blob of, of meat. Seven bucks for, I think, two and a half pounds of garlic uh, ring baloney. Uh, I'm going to try it. Maybe next time I go to Walmart. Anyway, another, another uh, thing that, that Walmart has consistently very good is organic spices. They have a pretty good selection. Almost, they cover almost all of them, and they're um, very competitive. I think they're cheaper than anywhere. So if you ever need your spices, go to Walmart. You don't have to get the crappy brand. They have, a, I think, the great value, and they have some other, uh, that's their brand, and another brand of uh, organic. And it's, it's cheaper than anywhere else. And... Uh, I'm always going on and on about tea, because I put tea in my Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. Walmart is should, it's not really the place for tea, you know? Their Lipton tea wasn't, there was nothing to write home about. And the Yogi tea they, they sell is actually more money than some of the other stores we normally go. So we will not be buying our Yogi tea at Walmart. Uh, but we did pick up a hundred pack of this Bromley uh, exquisite tea for under two bucks. And that was pretty much not a great price, but it was in line with everybody else. So keep that in mind. Another thing is avocados. Avocados, uh, we always try to buy them on sale because sometimes they're a ripoff. Like King's charge like <laughs> $3 for an avocado. They're like 89 cents at, uh, at uh, Walmart every day. I think um, it seems that way. They weren't on sale. Um, that's not as good as Aldi when they're on sale. We picked up uh, eight avocados at Aldi uh, last week, for thirty-nine cents a piece, and they're great. They're, none of them went went bad. So, but if you're just out and about and don't feel like going to another store and you need avocados, Walmart is uh, they have them really cheap. Uh, another thing they have is dog food. Uh, we have two new puppies here, which you're going to see uh, a weekly, I hope, a weekly video series about our dogs growing up, and you're going to be able to watch them over the years. Uh, 
but our, our uh, breeder recommended this pedigree puppy food because they're used to it. And we were picking them up at one Walmart for 67 cents a can, and then this other Walmart down in, uh, I don't know where the hell it is, uh, Branchburg or whatever that is, uh, Manville, I, I can't even remember anymore. They were 73 cents. Like, why, why is the price, why does the price change between Walmarts? That's something that's always annoyed me. I'm sure there's an answer for it somewhere on the, the Google brain. Paper towels, the Walmart brand of paper towels is sort of like the house brand of Bounty. Um, and I have to say they're just as good as the Aldi, maybe even a little better than the Aldi. They're like 0.1 cents more per square uh, foot, but uh, they're a good deal. It, it, uh, if you need paper towels, no sense to go to another store, just buy them at Walmart. It's uh, the toys. Now I do what a lot of people do now, it's like if I'm at the store and I see a toy for like 15 or 30 bucks or whatever, I'll go on my Amazon app and scan the barcode and see if I can get it cheaper. Like all these toys we've been picking up have always been cheaper at Walmart than online, which is uh, pretty, pretty incredible. Um, something to keep in mind. Uh, I mean, obviously you're splitting hairs when you get down to the dollar or two level. But if you have to buy 10 or 20 different things and you can save $2 each, it does make sense to buy online. Plus you don't have to schlep at home, but whatever. And lastly, kids' shoes. Uh, I highly recommend nobody spends top dollar on kids' shoes. I, I actually have seen somebody spend like 100, over $100 on, on a pair of shoes for a kid, a three-year-old. Why? They, they're done in, uh, in, in six months or less. Uh, unless you sell them for consignment or you plan on having a whole lot of kids and they can, the hand-me-downs thing is good. But uh, we, we got the, uh, these boots for 18 bucks. They're light and pretty warm. Uh, and then you can get these Hunter boots for 28 bucks. They were heavy and I, I, I didn't see the, the reason to spend the extra 10 bucks. But the only time you really do want to invest a little money in your kids is to keep them warm. So if you're going to buy an El Cheapo jacket, they're going to get like... Uh, frostbite in, um, you should probably invest uh, some money to keep them warm if, if that's necessary. But in the end, I really do think uh, Walmart has a place. I think maybe everybody can get like a list of 20 things that the that core things I like to call them that are always cheaper at Walmart and buy them there. Like if you, because there's Walmarts everywhere. Just make a core list. I, I say 20, make it be 10 for some people, 30 for others. But, you know, like the basics, the fundamental basics for the house, like supplies, um, consumables, um, maybe some food products. I, I'm not a big fan of most of the things that Walmart sells food-wise, but you can find organic stuff there. You can find like those spices. They have healthy things if you, if you put your mind to it. Um, it might make your life and my life or our lives easier if you just have core places to go where things are always cheap. This way you don't have to worry about the, the weekly sales. What's on sale? Because the sales, as you may know, aren't like groundbreaking. You're not going to be able to get a, 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 a put an addition on your house with the savings. So I think you got to find your, your each store should have a core list of things you, that they uh, and you check on it once a year to make sure they're still the lowest. But find the best things at each store and, and that's it. So that's it, uh, this week's vlog. I got some fun stuff coming up in the next uh, couple weeks.